Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with y'all for another video. Today we are back and we are doing a review on Miss Demi Bista from the Rainbow High Shadow High costume ball dolls. A little bit of a tongue twister. I think there's also Rainbow Vision shoved in there somewhere. Um, I love this doll. I am so excited about the costume ball dolls. I've been wanting these for a minute, but they were just like kind of like not like fully on my radar. But I got these for the holidays and I'm super, super excited about it. On the front of the box, I mean, looks super, super gorgeous in this artwork. Like, she's so cool. The Shadow High kind of logo is in this holographic -y material. Same with the Rainbow Vision one. And these little things are really cool. The side of the box says it, this is a special edition. I don't really know what that means because I feel like everything is a special edition. We do have the Rainbow High YouTube thing. Um, on the back, we have all the other BBs from the line. We have Lola, Eliza, and then obviously Miss Demi. So fun. The little blurb says, The Rainbow High Vision costume ball is nearly as fierce as the competition itself. Which school are you rooting for? So, not that much happening with it. Um, but on this side, we get the little um, Velcro strip into getting to see Miss Demi. Also, she is a little film focus. So, so fun to see Demi. I'm so happy that I was able to pick out the perfect face. Um, we have a little blurb about her here as well. Super fun. And then we get into Miss Demi. So, this doll does not come with too, too, too much. But I'm super excited. We have the Rainbow High little logo. And these little, like, holiday ornaments. I'm super excited about her. I'm going to get her out of this box, and I'll be back with you guys in just, just, just a quick minute. I'm so excited. And Demi is all out of the box. This doll is, like, actually insane. Like, I didn't think I was going to like her as much as I love her right now. This doll is so cool. So I'm going to quickly, though, go over the accessories that aren't as fun. So we do get this little invitation, I guess, to Shadow High, the costume ball. There's a QR code that links to that awful episode. I don't even want to talk about the episode because I don't want to get this into a bad review, but the episode is definitely something. We also come with a standard Shadow High comb. Nothing crazy, but it's in Demi's kind of color. And she does come with the stand in the same exact kind of glitter thing. It's really cool. But now let's get into the doll because this doll blew me away i opened her um and i fixed her hair because i'm not gonna lie to you guys the hair the pigtails were looking a little bit rough they're not perfect and i definitely want to fix them in more detail in the future but just for a quick review i don't really mind just kind of throwing them up back up but this doll blew me away after opening her like genuinely i went downstairs and i talked to my mom about her because um i always show my mom my favorite dolls and this is one of my favorites already like i wish i got her earlier to be honest but this doll has a stunning hair blend. It's a really nice premium nylon. It's not a shiny nylon, thank God. But the blend is like a black. There's some lighter purples. There's some darker purples. And it looks so good with her. Um, again, the hair is parted in a pigtail form. And it goes down almost to her feet, but more down to like her knee, I guess. And it's super, super soft. There's no gel in this hair. This gel is, just, I mean, this hair is just beyond stunning and amazing. Again, the hair is kind of pulled up into two pigtails. The one, this stand is falling off though. I will say that though. Um, the one has a S, the other has an H, you know, shadow high. We get it. The bangs are like a kind of a V shape and the bangs aren't like the nicest. And I definitely did when I was looking for this doll in stores, I was trying to make sure that her eyebrow, her bangs weren't going flying up. Cause I saw so many of this doll have bangs that weren't really like done nicely, but this is definitely the best one in the store. Uh, again, they're not perfect, but I definitely can gel them down in the future and then just make them and like trim them. You know what I mean? Um, but for now, I don't really mind it, to be honest. Like, I don't think I'll be doing all that extra work anytime soon, just because I have a lot of dolls, um, especially after this Christmas haul. But this doll is so gorgeous. Like, this face is mesmerizing. Like, um, she does have eyebrows, which are a pink, and they fade into a black, which are really cool. Um, this eyebrow is a little bit placed higher, but I don't really mind because, you know, the, the bangs are going to cover it. I don't really intend on removing the bangs or anything. But again, the face-up makeup is so cool so she has like this like kind of a black eyeliner i guess or maybe shadow and then there's like some white eyeliner kind of a mascara as well and the little bottom lower lash is this like kind of black with some like fake eyelashes down this is so like drag inspired it's crazy i love this with the dolls and her eyes are so cool they're very like pale and they're like a nice pastel -y color i'm obsessed she's a nice blushing on both cheeks and this really cool kind of gradient lip where it fades from a there's like a pink on the around and then in the middle of it, it's like a purple and the bottom lip is a lighter purple and there's glitter on it and she does have that kind of smile um white 
teething stunning she just has these safety pin earrings with the kind of i guess now standard medusa head that's on a lot of the things uh, i think it first started popping up in the divas rainbow divas i don't really know though but it has been kind of a new staple i like that a lot better than shoving rainbow high and shadow high on everything but there is still the shadow high logo in the clothes pin um not the end of the world though and this outfit has so many layers to it. I want to show you guys the hands quickly before I forget because I will. Um, these nails and rings drive me insane. They are so good. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even notice that. Y'all, <gasps> there's paint on these nails. Wait, I just, I didn't even notice that because you can only, only see it on the camera. There are paint dots on these nails. Oh my god. The paint on this hand isn't like done as nicely. Like the polish is definitely going onto the finger. But on this hand, it's done much nicer. <gasps> wow. Actually, both hands are kind of awful, but who cares? Um, the rings, like, this ring is, like, a bat wing with a Medusa head. This is a kind of a, I guess, like, a flower, maybe. And there's some more chunkier vampire wing, ear, like, rings on this hand. Blown away by the painting details on these dolls. That is crazy. And it's on the other side, too. The rings do not stop. And it's, like, a really nice metallic -y kind of paint, so it has a little bit of a shine to it in certain lighting. It's so beyond crazy, y'all. Like, I've genuinely not been bl blown away by a doll with quality like this in a minute. Like, I couldn't even, like, you can't even see, like, the p and details in, like, the naked eye. You can really only see it when it's zoomed in. That's crazy that they went through that kind of quality. But going through this outfit, there's so many layers to it. I'm going to go, like, a one by one. So she does come wearing this, like, white collar with a little bow tie in it. And it is removable. Um, yes, it is. And it's really nice. There's, like, like a little tool on it and it's two layers it's done so nicely there's hemming it's so beyond nice and after that we kind of get a more look at her cape so her cape is this like kind of suede material i want to say it's black and there is some little like silver trimming oh my god oh my god oh my god oh <gasps> yo look at this oh my god like look at this this is crazy <gasps> wow oh my gosh what is happening? Oh, the shadow high. What, y'all? I've not been gagged. And there's a zipper here as well. This is so cool. And I think it does. Okay, it removes out the collar. And we have a second outfit. This is more of a casual outfit, in my opinion. But not the cape does not stop, though. There's holographing on the inside of it. The lining is done so nicely. Like, this is so, 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 so cool. So this outfit now is actually really, really gorgeous. Like, it's very much more casual, but it definitely does transform the look without the cape. And I love this, like, kind of... Okay, first off, we have this belt. It has SH on it, Shadow High. And it's, like, this pleather black material. And it does Velcro in the back. So it's very easy on and easy off. Thank God. Um, also, this little mini dress is so nice. There's studs on it. And it kind of... Ooh, mine is, like, misaligned a little bit, which is a little bit disappointing, but... Again, I won't really notice it with the cape on, I don't think, so it's fine. And the, you know, the studs go all the way around. You know, it's, you know, we know the quality. It's shadow high quality. It's rainbow high quality. So it's going to go around the whole way. And so does this like, kind of like lace kind of detailing. It's super nice. Like it's done so well. I don't even know how to show you guys on camera, but it's textured and it feels so, so, so nice. Um, And the mini dress could also be worn as a separate piece. But the final piece is not the least piece at all. This is an amazing, versatile, white top. It's cropped and it has really flowy sleeves. This is done so nice, like a sweetheart neckline. <gasps> I'm obsessed with the low, ooh, y'all. Someone at MGA, can you please just make 20 of these in a pack and I will buy them from you? I need this shirt a million times over. This is gonna look so good on, so good on OMG dolls, Rainbow High dolls, Monster High dolls. Any doll, this would look, Bratz dolls would probably chomp in this a bit. Like, these sleeves are so summertime. They're so pretty. They're so gothic. Like, I cannot describe to you guys how much I love simple, basic pieces like this. Thank you for listening to us and making these pieces. These are amazing. I'm so thankful that the Shadow High line does stuff like this. It is so beyond incredible. And it's, like, such a simple piece. But it's something that Rainbow High um, has been lacking for the past, like, year and a half, I feel like. Um, we just recently started pieces like this with Shadow High. These pieces can go for any doll, and I'm just happy that we're not getting color-coordinated dolls on everything. I'm just so obsessed. Tangent aside, I'm going to put her back in her dress, and I'm going to go under her boots. With the dress off, actually, you can definitely see the mobility within her legs again. But these shoes are so crazy. So at first, when I, I was opening these, I thought they were just something like, you know, a little heel with, like, a little um thing. Like, you know how, like, Lady Diva from the Fierce Line has, like, a little, like, thing over it, and it's, like, a heel? This doll has a fabric boot. 
fabric boot. It's like a latex um black thing. Fabric boot is so crazy cool. There's like a little like lace. Like there's like a little trim up here. There's like a black latex. There is zippers. This isn't a real zipper trim, but it is just kind of printed on. But it's so nice. I don't you can't even tell. And there's a little zipper up at top here, and it goes down and it connects to this black pump. These are so crazy cool. Also great for restyling. And I think these are just are so nice. I love the detail within them. They're just so, so, so crazy cool. I'm actually obsessed. But like overall, again, this doll has completely gagged me, left me so, so speechless. I am just so obsessed with everything about her. Um, I do want to talk about the, the price though, because this doll was a little bit expensive. Um, I also did get her for a present, so I didn't pay for her. Um, thank you, mother. Um, but this doll, I think, re retailed for like 35 something. Um, so she wasn't like the cheapest ever. She's not like a regular Rainbow High release. She's like a collector doll, which I don't like the idea of collector dolls anymore. I'm kind of over the idea of, you know, making something more expensive. But with this doll, I can truly see where everything, where every penny went. I do think we can kind of have some budget cuts. Like, the box could be a little bit less fancy. And the, I guess, like, I don't know. There's some things that, like, kind of weird to me. Um, I rather us didn't come with that cardboard thing, the cardboard little invitation or whatever. Like, this is useless. I don't really know. Um, I wish we came with a bag or, like, a mask. Or, you know how the Ghoul's Royal Monster High Dolls came with, like, a little bucket pail for the candy? Something like that, I think, would have been a lot more interesting to me as a collector to have you know a little bit more with her like an accessory to hold um but regardless of it i think this doll is beyond stunning but i do see where again every cent kind of went in because the quality on this doll is definitely a step up from the og dolls like the hands alone are just crazy to me um the details on the outfit are beyond stunning and the makeup application even with like the face is definitely different than the og rainbow high dolls like i don't think like, i feel like you just have to like, get it but, like, the, like the face is definitely sprayed differently than normal release of Rainbow High Doll. I think she's definitely a step up from the other collector dolls that I have. Um, I didn't buy the Lily one yet, or the, what are the other ones? Paris, the, um, Day of the Dead one, I don't even know her name. Um, I think there's another one somewhere in there, but I don't really remember all the collector dolls. But this one definitely chomped them all up a lot, even though I don't have the other ones. Um, I'm so sorry if I said anything bad about this doll online before I got her. Um, like, first thoughts. She's everything. I love her. And um, she's probably one of my favorite Rainbow High Dolls, to be honest. Like, I feel like I say that about every Rainbow High Doll, but this one just does something different for me. I don't even know how to describe it. But I'm going to stop rambling um, because I'm just going to say the same thing over and over again. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about Miss Demi. I'm dying to know. I want to know if you think, disagree, agree, um, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, with that, thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching this video. It was so much fun chatting about Demi with you guys. And, and I love you all so very much. Have a fantastic night. Love you. Bye. Mwah.